Transforming and manipulating vectors is very easy to do within CarveCo. Here you can see that I have a group of vectors which have been imported into the software. They look like they were originally produced in metric, but I'm working in imperial measurements. My model size is 6 inches by 6 inches, so these are very large and don't fit the model space. In order to make them fit within the model space, I need to make them smaller. The easiest way to do this is by transforming. To transform, select the icon from the top left of the screen, or use the keyboard shortcut of T. When the dialog opens, you can see the size of the selected vectors. These are over 1000 inches. You can also see this if you look at the bottom right of the interface when an object is selected. To change the size, enter a size in the width. This will also change the height to maintain the aspect ratio. If you don't want to do this, you can select the lock to toggle between locking modes. If I then select apply, the vectors will be resized, although they are now very small. I can now press F9 on the keyboard and this will center the vectors and then I can zoom in on the model space to see them. Notice that when zooming, it will zoom wherever my mouse pointer is located. So keep that near the model space and use the scroll wheel to zoom in. When a group of vectors are imported, they are grouped as one. To ungroup, right click and select ungroup all. I'm now going to delete five of the vector designs to leave me with one fleur de lis. Another way to change the size of a selected object is by selecting one of the red dots surrounding the bounding box of the object when in the transform tool. If you press Alt on the keyboard whilst doing this, you can resize from the origin position, which is denoted by a blue dot. In this case, it is in the center. If you hover outside the bounding box, you will see that the cursor will turn to a rotation cursor. So you can left click and rotate the selection. You can turn on a 15 degree angle snap for this by holding down Alt on the keyboard as you do it. Hovering inside the bounding box will change the cursor to a move cursor, which means you can move the object. Again, holding down Alt whilst doing this will lock it, but this time it's a 90 degree angle snap. The origin position can be changed by selecting one of the nine positions in the dialog or by moving the blue dot within the selection. This will then rotate around that point. To create copies, you can hold down control on the keyboard and then move. Press Ctrl and Alt at the same time and it will give you a copy but this time with a 90 degree angle snap. Rather than drawing a selection box, to select all of the objects in the model quickly, press Ctrl and A. If Transform is then opened again, the whole of the selection can then be transformed. Again, press Ctrl on the keyboard and drag to create copies. 